Many people in America think that Planned Parenthood is solely based around abortions. Planned Parenthood offers many other services. 35% of women go for contraception, 34% of women go for testing and treatment for STDs and infections, 17% cancer screenings and prevention, 10% other women health services, and 3% abortion services, and 1% other services. This shows that abortion is not the main reason that women use Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is not just for female use. Males use Planned Parenthood also on a weekly basis. Some of the services are sexual health problems, cancer screenings, STD testing and treatment, male infertility screening and referral. Our government is highly against funding Planned Parenthood. More than half the United States is opposed to supporting and funding the services of Planned Parenthood. Our government funds Planned Parenthood in a very successful way. For example, Casey has a Medicaid coverage and comes to their local Planned Parenthood Health Center for preventive care. Casey gets birth control and STD test, a pap smear, and other care. The Planned Parenthood Health Center submits a claim to Medicaid for the care it provided. Medicaid reimburses the Planned Parenthood Health Center for the services provided. The state Medicaid agency sends a bill to the federal government for all Medicaid reimbursements made to providers statewide, and the federal government reimburses the state for the parts of the costs. If the government stops funding Planned Parenthood, over two and a half million people will lose access to birth control, cancer screenings, STD tests, and other health care services.